Hey guys, 2024 is well underway. Before we get too far out of hand, let's talk about the most anticipated movies of 2024. There are a few that some might recognize. There are a few here that I am kind of hopeful about, um, optimistically hopeful. But overall, I have quite a few that I'm very excited for this year. We'll get the obvious one out of the way with Dune Part 2. I really, really enjoyed the first one. I was very disappointed when Part 2 was delayed because of Warner Brothers and their idiocy and the whole right actors and writer strike thing. Least to say, this is definitely one of my most anticipated movies in a long time. I really enjoyed the first film. I enjoyed it even more after I completed the book. Wow, there are so many actually under the layer references to the book. So I'm very excited with part two. I've had a bet with some friends about how the second one will start for almost two years now. So we're all waiting to see who pays who when the movie starts. The next most anticipated film is Civil War by Alex Garland. I like almost everything that Alex has written. Ex Machina, Annihilation, Sunshine, 28 Days Later, Never Let Me Go. Alex has this really cool way of just diving into these dark curiosities of sci-fi and alternate reality and civil war is a very very big one in a year where we're already at a political divide high this movie is coming out at such a crazy time a24 is really going in on this. this is the most expensive movie that they've ever made i'm very very excited to see how this turns out then kind of dipping into a little bit of a lighthearted one the fall guy it's a comedy action stunt movie with Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, and the one of the original directors of John Wick. Bullet Train, I liked it more and more and more as I watched it. So seeing him coming back and doing something for The Fall Guy, I hope that they bring that same chemistry, that same fun back to this movie. Speaking of another stunt movie, this is... One that I'm curiously optimistic about is Furiosa. George Miller is back in the saddle for a prequel to his film that swept the Oscars, almost taking Best Picture, which it should have, because it's just a fantastic action movie, fantastic stunt work. That is something that admittedly a lot of us are a little bit hesitant about because of that CG trailer we got. There's a lot of very obvious CG, and with Warner Brothers' track record of late, they probably might have had some interference with it. Fury Road took forever to make due to location difficulties uh, taking forever to make sure that the stunts were correct. So maybe Warner Brothers might have done a Hobbit and been like, hey, it's just easier to do it with CG. So we will have to see. I am casually optimistic about it. I am hopeful that it is good, but I am also tempering my expectations. Another one that I'm really tempering my expectations for is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I thought the original trilogy ended fantastically. I thought that Matt Reeves took that pony home and finished it really, really well with War of the Planet of the Apes. So the fact that they're doing more of them is a little bit interesting. From what I've gathered, Matt doesn't have anything to really do with it. It's being directed by Wes Ball, who directed the Maze Runner movies. The guy can actually do decent action, the third film, while completely forgettable for plot, has some pretty decent action sequences in it. And it does take place about a hundred or so years after the last film, so there could be some interest in it. Again, casually optimistic. One that I am very, very excited for, though, is Lord of the Rings War of the Rohirrim. This is the animated film that's taking place about several hundred years before the events of the Lord of the Rings films. It's going to be uh, narrated by Miranda Otto. Brian Cox is going to be voicing Helm Hammerhand. It doesn't have Jackson directly affiliated with it, if I'm correct, but it does have some people who worked on the original films affiliated with it, not just cast, but also um, production people as well. So very, very, very excited for that. Another one that I, I don't know much about, but I am very excited for is Nosferatu, another Robert Eggers movie, and the cast is stacked. You got Defoe, you got Lily Rose Depp, you got Bill Skarsgård. It's going to be cool. I'm very, very excited to see this. I'm wondering just how far the rabbit hole of lighthouse craziness he goes. So we'll see. But that is one that I'm very, very excited for. Uh, one superhero movie, and it's, yes, technically speaking, Marvel but it is not directly Marvel, it is Deadpool 3. I'm going to see this purely because Logan is coming back. 
I know that, technically speaking, that's sacrilege, considering how well Logan ended, but I am curious to see how this works. Marvel and Disney need a win like you would not believe. The fact that this movie is coming this year is something that I bet Bob Iger is like, oh, God, please, we lose him so much. I really like what Ryan Reynolds has done with Deadpool. I like how silly so far this is looking. This is looking. I am avoiding the spoilers as much as I can now after that one set photo got leaked. I'm like, okay, let's let's temper. I, I don't want to have anything more. So I am hopeful for it. And then just kind of round it out, there's Mickey 17, Robert Pattinson with the director of Parasite. Could be interesting. Havoc, a movie with Tom Hardy and directed by Gareth Evans of the Raid series. This movie has been completed for years and they still haven't released it on Netflix. Netflix has been holding on to this for the longest time. So that is a little bit concerning. Kind of curious as to why, but I guess we'll find out. Godzilla and Kong and the New Empire. Kind of just interested to see how this goes. Uh, I've been re-watching the movies with my wife, and I really liked Kong Skull Island. That's still the best one, in my opinion, so I'll have to see how this one goes. The Bike Riders, another Tom Hardy movie with Austin Butler and Jodie Comer. Curious to see how this one goes, because it's Jeff Nicholas. I like Jeff Nicholas. He does kind of off-the-cuff kind of thing, so that's kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how that one. And then finally, the alien movie coming from Fede Al Alvarez. I am kind of on the fence with this dude. I liked his Evil Dead remake. I thought that Don't Breathe had some good parts, but it also had some fucking stupid shock value parts. But I am curious to see what he does with Alien. It's not being directed by Ridley Scott, thank God. So there is at least some room for maybe some decent surprises. Anyways, guys... Those are my most anticipated movies of the year. Let me know what you guys are excited for because there's a lot of movies coming out this year. There's a lot that I didn't mention, but uh, let me know in the comments below and so start a discussion. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying your day so far. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.